Fail. Thanks, everyone. Oh, those smell good. Tell you what, you've got some finish on them, haven't you? Yeah, it'd be alright, haven't it? I don't you've quite got a good fucking finish on that. Actually. It'll look good when it's on there. Oh, fuck me, you're never gonna. Might need to turn down the funky tunes because we get done for uh, copyright. Yeah, so basically on the vlog that we did with um, we did with the classic bikes when we went to pick the classic bikes up, we um, yeah, damn it, Steve, yeah, yeah, that place. We, we don't want to, <laughs> <laughs> we're trying not to say his name, so we don't worry about it. <laughs> so when we went to get them classic bikes, obviously there was one bike built up at the start, which is we haven't even touched it, have we? No, it's been sat, it's been sat, haven't even attempted to get it going or anything. So all we've been doing then basically is building this first bike. This bike was literally in a box. So there was loads of boxes of stuff that, wasn't, of that, that wasn't organized. Yeah. Right? And so we spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out what was for what. We've got like things like this. Well, so, we've actually downloaded this so we know what we're doing. Yeah. Trouble is the, the descriptions that come with this, we downloaded it from a Japanese one. So it's Japanese, right? So we know what number one is, but we don't actually know what the description is of it. Because, but also we got ended up with this about five motorbikes. So there'd be five sets of that looks like a, a swing arm spindle, wheel spindles. But there's a load of different bikes, so we have to go through everything. Imagine that brackets, footrests, uh, brake levers, grommets. For I think five bikes. Yeah. Well, we. We don't oh, really know how many bikes we bought. <laughs> yeah, we think four, four or five bikes. So the first one we decided, well, once we got it sort of organized, we thought, right, well, there seems to be quite a lot of the Suzuki stuff. So this is what we've got to so far. So basically, well, I, I can't really take credit for a lot. Well, I've been trying, but Somewhere. honestly, honestly, James has taught me loads. Because um, anybody that knows me well, I'm not massively mechanically mind i can do simple things but not like massively mechanically minded so everything's had to get built up so the wheels have been all built up and so it's all we've refurbed the shark painted it blooms all built on you can see the dash bars, um and yeah so the 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 hard bit for lee was uh that it, the engine was complete and it had compression and everything looked good but it was just a little bit scabby, just a little bit, not corroded, but a bit really dirty. And he wanted, he, you were going to end up with a really mint looking bike, but with yeah. a, a kind of scabby looking yeah, engine. I, I would never have been fit to, I would have just cleaned it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I so, so what we've done, we've we've stripped it down. All, so bare cases, I've just put these back in. So every seal, every bearing out the cases, and then we've, we've vapor blasted them. We've got blasting equipment up here and they come up really yeah, well. well. I'll, I'll pop in and show. Yeah. And she, um, is there two types of two types of blaster? Yeah, dry and wet. But what's, so the, it's just called a dry, dry blast. That's a vapor blaster, the wet one, yeah? Yeah. So basically, when we got some of the parts, some of them were already done, but all the engine stuff, um, mainly the engine stuff, wasn't it? Um, all got, it was done in the dry blaster. All, all of it was done in the vapor blaster. Yeah, so basically all of that stuff is here as well. <laughs> That's brother in law does it does it all and let me uh, let me have a go on it. It's actually quite addictive. Once you start doing it, isn't it? Like when you when you do a little bit and um it's like, well I can't imagine it is after doing weeks and weeks of blasting, but it's actually quite addictive when so basically yeah, so this is sort of what this is everything that's just been have we got anything rough that hasn't been done? No, or is it everything? Yeah, so it goes from looking like that, all grotty and dirty, to, to looking like that. <laughs> so now we've got we've sourced new seals. The bearings are back in, and the the, the case is now ready for the engine. Look at that cute little piston that looks. It's it's in good order. The bike hasn't done a lot of work. What? Well, yeah, so, so grab the head and silver. The, so, yeah, so basically, I would never have attempted to do so. That's the this apart. all built up again with the valves back in. We to build a little tool for compressing the valve springs. 
And that's all, obviously, the, the idea to strip it down, we have, to, we have to blast it. And you can't do that with any of the yeah. furniture in. So. so we're just waiting for, we can get, we figured out that the bikes are maybe a bit rarer than when we sort of started. But luckily, because of um, James being half decent when he rode for Suzuki, we've been, we've been able to blag, uh, blag, some, parts. blag some various <laughs> parts. Yeah, so we're just waiting on some more seals seals and stuff to come at the minute um, to build it up. And I, I'm actually really excited because I've never, do you know what I mean, seen an engine in this many pieces before. And honestly, I wouldn't, I'd be going into a bit of a state of panic if um, if it was me on my own. But luckily, living beside Jim, it's, um, it kills me to say it, but he's giving me a bit of an education on, on how to build a motorbike. Yeah, but what, what happens if we've got bits left over? Well, we've got the makings of another bike. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen that and I thought, oh, I thought I'd put the flipping cam chain tension in. That's your tension. That's the bending. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll go. We might, we might need new bowls because we'll build it and strip it that many times <laughs> when you forget It'll something. Work. Yeah. He's just yeah, he's just taking the piss. He actually knows. Still, yeah. right? What? Well, 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 Forty-nine yen. So five hundred yen, yen is five quid. Not even. Right, we're trying to calculate yen to um, yen to pounds. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to be fit to see this on the camera, but. I've, I've just got uh, so a Japanese friend has got us onto a Japanese auction site to buy more parts for the bike. Um, let's see, Japanese auction jobs, all well and good, but my Irish Japanese and James's. I'm, I'm slightly rusty with the can Japanese. You say, can you say any word in Japanese? Yeah. That's not a, not a rude. Yeah, I know. Um, problem is Monday. Oh, what? So when, when you were all doing... I, when I was doing my testing, that all I needed to know was big problem, small problem, no problem. <laughs> that That's it. it. So it's Monday night, no problem. Squashy Monday, small problem. Jumbo Monday. That's great. Big, big problem. problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so if you come, if you come back and you put the bike in absolute shit, and I'm walking back, yeah, with bits of grass hanging out my ass. Jumbo one. Jumbo one. That's what it is. What do you mean? It's just a... Yeah, that's out the left, so that's the top. That's good. Hi, babe. Is it ready yet? <laughs> yeah, it's going to finish. Should we go get some petrol? It's not far off. That. We're gonna give that a bit of a blast. I've just yeah, but if you look, I've just I've just like normally I'd get these re blacked, but when you look how they've cleaned up, yeah, they've never them's never color. been stripped. No, that that I've never that's never been in bits before. That that's lovely. So most Sweet. of it will um, completely go again with that. You can put you can put in the comment section below who you want to see test riding the. <laughs> the bike. James is better at wheelie than to be well, fair. Yeah, but we know where it fits. <laughs> this is my 2022 TT Superbike <laughs> preparation. The first bike that Lee's been here to put his feet flat on the floor oh, with. Can't we? I'm so excited. But the, the most exciting part of all these little bikes is this thing. So James has decided to put a not an RD. What R? What is the engine in eighty? RM RD. Uh, right. So this 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 here is a, this is a, this is the Yamaha version of that Suzuki that we yeah, just showed. So, the so, same as the bikes that we bought fully built. Yeah. And he has. So it had an air cooled fifty cc engine. So what I've done is I've got an RD eighty LC engine that I've now bought a six port Molosse cylinder. So we should end up with about 21, 22 horsepower. What, what, what was it originally? It was an 80 air cooled at about five brake. <laughs> so no, sorry, 50 yeah. air cooled at about five brake. And then, but that's meant we've had to chop this frame member out. We've had to You've sent the alter rad these. off, haven't you? Yeah, the rad, the rad I've mounted on these brackets here. Uh, 
and then once we've got it all dry built then we can have, then we can yeah, get everything get blasted and say it looks rough but this frame is a really really straight frame it's just been in a damp garage yeah. but it's really straight there's, there's no so you've got like an increase of what percent three times <laughs> power so we should have over 20 horsepower which uh, will make it lively i'm gonna be well bugged up when he comes past me and, I, and it's gonna be because it came because one of my all-time heroes and i was privileged enough to work for the man one of my all-time heroes was christian saron and i was lucky enough to work when he was team yeah. manager and i was riding in 96 and uh he's just a mint bloke it'll be brand new these are really good pairings they're straight no yeah, dings proper. But they're all faded, so these need painting. But I'm going to put it back in this colour, which is it's um, Yamaha Mo France colours. We need to and get we need to get a blagger painter on board. That's the next uh, black. That's what we need. <clears throat> next so blagger thing. We we'll give old spray bay, spray bay wink wink. Uh, get them uh, some body work doing. But yeah, so yeah, next next vlog on these things will be pulling massive wheelies on the airfield. Um, probably mainly gym. Easy. If anyone's going to flip it, it'll be me <laughs> off that. <laughs>